So now we're going to take a look at individual crop production costs. And this is a little tricky as well uh, because what the spreadsheet does is applies labor evenly across all your crops. And in reality, that's not quite how it works because there are there's basically th three aspects of, of production to think about. One is the sowing. How long does it take to sow each tray of a certain crop? And some crops take significantly longer to sow than other crops. You need to uh, sanitize them, soak them longer, things like that. The spreading them and distributing them on the trays takes longer. Um, and then there's the production side. So stacking them for germination, unstacking them, watering them. Some take a little bit more time for whatever reason. And then the third aspect is harvest and packing. And some stuff you can cut and put right into the packages and it's very quick. And other things you need to cut and then wash and then spin and then package. So they take a lot longer. So it's really hard to account for that in this spreadsheet, but you can understand that a bit more uh, from, your, uh, from your experience. So if we take a look at, um, at these numbers here, uh, it, it's quite interesting because it shows um, that we're actually gonna lose money on sunflower and pea, uh, whereas we're gonna make money on radish. But it's a little misleading, uh, and this is where you need to look at things and go, okay, uh, sunflower actually does take me take a lot of labor. Uh, I'm soaking the seeds. Uh, I, I know it takes it's one that I have to pick the hulls and wash. But pea, Jesus, pea is pea is super super easy. And so I see it's even at this level it's losing more it's losing uh, less than sunflower. But I know it's not taking me the same amount of labor to do pea, which might mean I want to try to sell more pea than sunflower. Uh, radish again. Uh, th this, these numbers look really good, and I know radish is another crop that doesn't take a lot of work. Um, um, it's, uh, it, um, it's really easy to, to cut and, and package, and so it's, it's one, again, that doesn't take the same amount of labor. Then I look at something like a wheatgrass trays. Well, I've got labor per tray here, but I also know that I, there's no labor when I'm selling a wheatgrass tray in terms of harvest. I'm just dropping that off. That gets built into delivery. So that looks good. Same thing like wheatgrass bags, you know, uh, we're not doing small bags. So it just means that, uh, you know, the packaging is going to be a lot quicker. So as you get to know your crops, you're going to get a sense of which ones make more sense. And it's hard to discern that from these numbers because these are just based on distributing your labor costs evenly amongst the trays. And then things like seed and soil, well, those costs are, are, are true, but they're a very small portion in sanitizer are very, very small portions of, of, your, of your costs. So when we get into packaging, we can see that it's about 87 cents uh, a tray to package sunflower, but 13 cents a, a, a tray to package wheatgrass and bags, uh, 64 cents for radish. So th this gets into uh, like, okay, maybe we're not gonna do a, a lot of clamshells of sunflower. So you can kind of look at things in here to get a sense of, of what to do with these numbers. Uh, yeah, and this really is inaccurate because I know a, a tray of sunflower can generate um, a, a good amount of revenue, uh, but it's just hard to break this down. So I'm gonna work on this a little bit to try to make this a little bit more accurate. Um, and we'll see what we can do to make it a little more precise. But it's still a matter of the spreadsheet as a model and it's a good reference, but I don't rely on my spreadsheet to make decisions for me. I, I rely on it as one of many tools. And so you want to take a look at these numbers and all the other things we've discussed to determine what crops make sense, what sizing and packaging makes sense, what labor and production values make sense. All that stuff uh, it needs to be taken into consideration. It's very, very dynamic. So this just gives you a, a sense of, of how things break down on a per crop basis. Um, there's a little calculator here if you're doing mixes. Uh, we don't do mixes because I find them very complicated and I think uh, I give people more credit to mix things in the way that they want them. Uh, other people swear by mixes, so this is definitely uh, a personal preference. So this helps give you a sense of how to, uh, to uh, calculate the cost of a mix by uh, distributing the seed amongst uh, that as well. Uh, and that can be worked into your, your cropping as well, so that, which we looked at earlier. So this is a, an individual crop production outlook. Um, and yeah, it just gives you a sense of how things break down and gives you another tool to, to make decisions 
on what crops to keep and which ones maybe to change the packaging on and which ones to scale up.